Well, hey, you guys, welcome back to another episode of The Canning Nana and the first day of November Soup Spectacular. So I want to welcome you guys to the channel. Um, this is really exciting month for us. I really can't believe the response that I got for my collaboration. It's been super amazing. Um, I tried to fill the calendar with just one channel a day and we ended up with about 36, maybe 38 channels. Uh, that want to participate. So some days are going to have two videos in it. Um, most days are only going to have one, but you guys are going to learn about some brand new channels to you that you may have not otherwise heard of. So, and that's why I love collaborations because we are all in the same YouTube community um, and we all basically teach the same things or show the same things, but a lot of us still don't know each other. Um, and I've been on here for five and a half years and, um, you know, I tend to watch certain channels and, and then I've been expanding that horizon the last, uh, two years or so. And it has been, um, really fabulous. I have really enjoyed getting to know some newer channels, some larger channels, um, and working with both. And you guys know, I love to work with all, all kinds of channels, big, small, medium, whatever. Um, we are all helping you guys learn the same things. So what better month to learn about soups than November when it starts to get chilly and the snow starts falling some, you know, where you guys are, not me, I'm in California, but sorry, but, um, but it has been getting cold here already and kind of unusually cold. And we've already been down to 48, 49 degrees, which is crazy for, uh, end of October. So I'm filming this today on Halloween, um, and Halloweens here are usually super rainy or super hot, and we had either. It, it's been a really strange year for weather, um, but I'm really excited for, maybe, hopefully we'll get some rain this year, right? So um, my soup is going to be one of the easiest soups that you have ever made. Um, it only takes three ingredients that you see here, and it is broccoli cheddar soup. I'm going to put that cheddar in there, but I'm really not going to use a whole lot of cheddar. And I'm just using sharp cheddar cheese, regular sharp cheddar cheese from Costco that I get, you know, two pound block of. I've just kind of cut a little bit off and these are small. There's my finger. These are small pieces, not large. We are going to be using a blender. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. If you don't have a blender, you can use an immersion blender. Um, really any blender will work with this. Uh, even a food processor, you could do the same thing. Just follow the same exact steps the way I do it, and it'll come out smooth and um, velvety creamy. So this soup is the best you'll ever make. It doesn't have 10 or 15 ingredients like you guys will see, like some of the other soups, um, you know, that, that like you buy in the market or um, some other recipes call for. It's super simple, very easy, very healthy, and... Um, and like I said, best of all, it's the easiest soup you have ever made. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do is heat up some water and boil it to a rapid boiling point in a pot. It really doesn't matter how much water that you add right now because you're not gonna be using all of it um, unless you need to. So I'm going to go put this on a pot or in a pot and start to boil it. And I will show you guys, this is all the broccoli that I have. Okay, so um, it's just one large head and a smaller head. Now, one thing I do want to show you guys is you want to get the broccoli that is the deepest, darkest color that you possibly can. And that is very, very tight, very firm, that's not fl flowering yet. So you can see here, it's just starting to flower. Um, a couple of these are starting to flower. But I've had this in my refrigerator. This is um, from Farmer's Market, so it's locally grown. And it's about maybe four days old, five days old. Um, but this one is nice and firm, and this is how you want it. Nice, green, rich color. So what we're going to do, and I'll show you with this here. Um, you're going to take off, just slice off any um, bad parts that you see, any like of the leaves, unless you guys like leaves. Um, I mean, they don't bother me. If some are on it, it's not a big deal. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take a smaller knife. Hopefully you guys can see this. We are just going to cut around here like this and cut off the florets. 
just like that. You want to use as much as you can, but you're going to be left with the little stem just like that. So you're going to be left with that, and um, you can add this to your soup because, like I said, it's all going to get blended. But we nice, we want some nice, big broccoli chunks in here, and I usually like to keep a piece or so just for some garnish. So we're just going to cut down the middle, and I'm going to set these aside in a little dish. do another one of these too so that um, because I'm gonna make enough broccoli for two people tonight so we are just going to slice just a little bit and that'll be for our garnishment for our broccoli now let's just go ahead and use this one too and yep not gonna cook it this is just raw broccoli okay so once you get all of this done you just cut these into nice size pieces, big pieces. You don't want to cut them small. You just want to keep them like this. And then you're just going to dump them into the pot. So let's go boil water. I'll finish cutting this and then I'll bring you guys back. Okay, so we are here at the pot. We've got our broccoli all cut up. The water is rapidly boiling. We have our cover ready. So what do we want to do next? We want to season the water, you guys. So a lot of people just season after it cooks, we want to season it while it's cooking. So we're going to add some salt right to the water. And we are going to add our broccoli in to the pot, rapidly boiling. Now, the secret to this is we are not going to boil this for more than five minutes. So depending on the size of your pieces, you want to do maybe three to four minutes, four and a half minutes tops but that's it. And you want the broccoli to stay dark. That is one of the keys. So we're just gonna press it down there. We are gonna put a lid on it and we're gonna put the timer on for three and a half minutes to start. So while this boils and it's almost ready, it's got less than a minute to go. I just put my little cloth on here, pot holders to hold it down. The whole reason that you want to have that lid on here is so that none of the flavor um, escapes with the steam. You want all of that flavor because you're gonna use each and every bit of that flavor in your soup because remember, this is only three ingredients. So we're not adding a bunch of milk to this or cream or anything like this. This is the healthiest broccoli soup you have ever had. I will be adding cheese, but if you're lactose intolerant and can't have regular cheese or you don't like cheese, of course you don't have to add that. But I will tell you, this is the best easiest broccoli soup ever. Okay, so our four and a half minutes are up. So we want to take this off and I'm going to switch the camera now over to my colander because we want all of this water now because we're not using chicken stock. We're not using a store-bought stock or anything like that. We are using the broccoli stock that we just made. Okay, here comes the broccoli gas is turned off. We're going to drain it directly into our bowl. Get all the broccoli out of there. Like I said, I'm not using a whole lot of broccoli. Just enough for two people. So we are going to keep all of that soup, that broccoli stock that we just made. Don't want to throw it away, even though we may not be using all of it. I'm going to drain this just a little bit, and I'm going to move this aside. Let's drain it a little bit more. I will put it on my pot here, and we'll get the blender ready. So now we have this amazing broccoli stock that we're using in place of milk or cream to make the richest, smoothest, velvety, smooth broccoli soup. Okay, so we've got the blender on now. I want to show you guys something really, really cool here. Okay, so our broccoli, yes, it is steaming hot, but that is exactly what we want. Look at that deep, dark color. Okay, so you want your broccoli steaming hot like this. Don't do it the day before. You guys have to do it. Um, you have to make it when it's nice and hot like this. 
Otherwise, if it's cold and your water is cold, you're gonna get a grainy texture to it. We don't want grainy, we want nice velvety smooth. So we're gonna go ahead and add this into our blender. And in my case, I have a Blendtec. Come on, everybody in, everybody in. There we go, oops. Okay, so, and it's pretty full. Um, if you're making soup for more than two people, then you might wanna do a little bit more broccoli in here um, or do it several times and then add it all together. And yes, once it's all blended like this, you can reheat it. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some water. And what I'm gonna do is add it with a ladle because I don't wanna get it all over the place. And knowing me lately, I would. So what we wanna do is we wanna fill it about half full, uh, maybe a little bit more than half full. So this is your soup, you guys. This is the base, is your broccoli water, the broccoli stock that you just made. So if you only have broccoli, maybe that you're growing in your garden and um, wanna make something really nutritious out of it and don't know what to do other than maybe a um, use it as a vegetable side dish, this is what you do. So we are going to just put a little teeny bit more in there. Now, if I have leftover water, that is perfectly fine because we are gonna blend this until smooth and we may need some water, you'll see. Okay, now to this, I like pepper in my soup, so I'm gonna add some pepper and then we are gonna taste this at the end to, just to make sure. So um, you can add as little seasoning or as much seasoning or different seasonings, whatever you guys prefer. Put this over here so it's closer. Okay, so, and I also have cheese. So if you guys want some cheese in with your broccoli soup, um, I'm gonna show you how to do that, but I wanna show you just the broccoli soup by itself and how amazing this is. This is truly the easiest soup, guys. Add a little teeny bit more salt, and I use Himalayan pink salt. We are gonna put the lid on here, and we're just gonna pulse a little bit, get it, get it going. Okay, and... show you how amazing this comes out. Now you guys saw what I put in there, right? Okay. Now again, you guys can use this. Any blender will do the same thing. So I'm going to show you how rich and creamy this is. Let's look down here. Beautiful broccoli soup. Okay. So have some cream cheese on my spoon right there, but I'm gonna taste this and see if it needs any more flavoring. Look at that. Broccoli and water. Yep, that's it. And some seasoning. So let's, I can't get in camera here. Let's taste it. Mm. Oh my gosh. So I put enough pepper in it. Maybe it needs a little bit more salt this is just as creamy you guys this is my plate so it doesn't matter um just look at how creamy this is and rich the color is amazing just beautiful okay so um i am going to show you a little bit of a variation of this um and use some cheese okay so one of the variations is with cheddar cheese and then another variation that i have is with some Gouda cheese. Now this Gouda cheese is one of the best I've had. Um, that's very reasonable in cost and I get it from Costco. Super, super, uh, really good price. I think it's two pounds for eight bucks. Um, and we just snack on it, but we also use it for cooking. It is amazing. So in one of the variations I'm gonna show you, I'm also gonna use some pecans. So right now, let's do some broccoli cheddar. Okay, so all we're gonna do, I'm gonna add a little bit less to this. 
all we're gonna do is add a couple of chunks of this sharp cheddar cheese. Put it right in there. So now we have a three ingredient soup. Add four pieces to it. I'm gonna put my lid back on and we are gonna start the blender. <laughs> Get our bowl ready and take the lid off. Oh, this smells so amazing. Oh my gosh. So you could tell by just the color of the lid um, how amazing this looks. Okay, let's put the camera down so you guys can get a shot of this. Okay. Look at that. Now I'm just gonna pour a little bit because my husband's not home right now, so I have to wait for him to serve this, but so this is the broccoli cheddar, and all it is is broccoli, water, cheese, salt, and pepper. That's it. So let's taste this. Let's see. Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, I wish we had taste division here. Look at how creamy. Can you guys see how creamy that is? This is so creamy. This is amazing. It's challenge time. Sorry, that was my Alexa. Okay, so look at that. Oops, get in camera. That looks amazing. It tastes so good, you guys. Mm. That is, okay, so if I was tasting somebody else's broccoli cheddar soup, this is the best broccoli cheddar soup that I think I've ever had. And it has no milk but it's super, super creamy. The texture of it is perfect, absolutely perfect. So what you can do to serve this is a couple different variations. So I'm gonna put a little bit in here of the other soup, the regular, no, actually. Okay, so let's do a fancy restaurant version. So we're gonna put a little bit of pecans on the bottom just like that and a dollop of cream cheese that I have set aside I'm gonna put that right in here just like that and we are going to put our broccoli cheddar all around just like that and then top with a couple of pieces of broccoli. And you have a nice, fancy looking broccoli soup. So for this one, this is also the broccoli cheddar. I'm gonna add a little bit of Gouda to it. Oops, a pecan that I threw in there, oops, accidentally. And a couple pieces of broccoli. And there you go, two different versions. This is with the cheese, and we showed it without the cheese. Really good soup. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Super simple soup. Um, can't get any easier than this, right? This is about as easy as it gets. And like I said, you can add whatever it is that you want to with this. Super easy, um, very versatile, but what, I mean, you would never know that there's no cream in this soup just water, just broccoli, just cheese. And you guys saw water and broccoli. That's it, nice and creamy soup. Thanks for watching you guys. Don't forget the word of the day. Comment below is broccoli soup. I'm sure you guys heard me say it over and over in this video and that was for a reason. Please go check out everyone's video, watch the playlist for the November Soup Spectacular and thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if I've inspired you to um, make this soup or any other recipe in my playlist. And uh, I look forward to seeing you more. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.